What up y'all, T-Skip here, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're back with another hunter pet video. And in this one, it's going to be 10 unique hunter pets for all specializations. So none of these will be exotic pets. So you'll be able to use them for marksman, survival, or beastmaster. So you're good to go on that route. I'll also quickly mention if they're either tenacity, ferocity, you know that. So if it fits your play style, at least you'll know that. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and start the video. The first up on the list is Fenrir. And this is one of my favorite pets in the game. I, I just love the visual effects of this one. So we'll go ahead and summon Fenrir. So Fenrir is this wolf right here. And the special thing about him, as you can see, he's got the arrows that, with the gold in it. But what makes him super cool is when he moves, he has runes on him that light up. So when I move, you see the runes, and then when you stop, they'll go away. So if I go back, you can see them all light up. And then when you stop, they go away. I don't know, I just think that's so daggone cool. So how do we get Fenrir? So we're gonna come to Stormheim, which is in the Broken Isles. And it's down here at, uh, uh, where am I? 7271. And we're going to the Halls of Valor. So we're going to the raid. Now, there's two requirements. One, it has to be set to Mythic difficulty. See, I have Dungeon of Normal. You have to be on Mythic. And you have to run this solo. So at our level at 80, it's not going to be hard. Uh, but just know you can't do this with a friend. You have to do this solo. So once we go in here, you're going to make your way all the way to Fenrir. So once you go in, you're going to go all the way up here whoop, to right when you get to the middle. And then you're going to go this way to the field of eternal hunt. So right now I'm going to make my way there and I'll speed up the video and uh, I'll come back when that's done. All right, so now we made our way to Fenrir. As you can see, I just one, two tap the balls. But once you get to Fenrir right here, you'll kill him. Now, after he's gone, how you tame him is you go inside the cave and there will be, this Fenrir will spawn. So this will be the one that will be able to tame. So it's not the boss. You have to do this whole, you know, route. Then you click, tame. And that is how we get Fenrir. Like I said, I just love this pet. It's one of the few that have this, uh, you know, just cool animation to it that makes it super cool. So that's how you get Fenrir. So let's move on to the next one. Sorry, I forgot to mention, this is a ferocity pet also. So you will get the Predator's Thirst with the 15% leech and you will have your Lust or Hero, uh, Primal Rage. All right, so let's move on to the next one. For the next pet on the list, it will be the Fell Steed. So this will be a horse pet and it is a ferocity pet. So to get this one, we will have to come to Shadowfane Keep, which is 4467 in the Easter Kingdoms in Silver Pine Forest. So if you haven't done the uh, reclaiming Gilneas questline, this could be a super fast way to get over here because it's actually part of the questline is you come out here. So it's right there, Easter Kingdoms, boom. So if you're on the horse side, you can just jump over here or you can go to, uh, what's it called, uh, Undercity. Uh, either way, it, this is where you go to it. So you're gonna come to this dungeon. Now, before we go in here, make sure it's set to normal difficulty. For some reason, it doesn't work on heroic. Uh, I can tell you that because I just tried doing it. But you have to set it to normal. So let's go ahead and go in here. I will run this together just in case anybody hasn't done it. You're gonna to turn to the right and just run up here. You're gonna to have to kill the first boss first. Which you'll come down here and there's the first boss. So you'll get him down and there's gonna be a little bit of RP walking. So you're just gonna to have to wait for um, the 
think it's that guy to run up here and open this door because that's where he's gonna go and the fell steed is in the barn right there to the back so if we wait for old guy to run up here This is taking a little bit, but <laughs> yeah. I'll cut this part out. All right, so I cut the RP part out because it takes a little bit for him to run up here and open this door. But as soon as he opens this door, all right, now we can go through. So just head straight to the back. And right here in the barn, you'll see Felsteed, Felsteed, and yeah, well, that's two right there. So just remember, it has to be on normal difficulty. So here we go. Let's tame them. And there's another one if you'd like to have two of them. So uh, why not? Let's go ahead and tame another one. We'll get another Felsteed. So let's tame. There you go. So let's check them out. So there's the fell steed. So it's a little bit different than the other ones. Uh, it's not as you know crazy looking as the warlock ones, but I figured I'd mention this one just because it's different than the other ones out there. It's a pretty cool fell steed. All right, so that's that one. Let's move on to the next one. Next on the list is the white bingle tiger. Now there's two ways of getting these. There's one that's super daggone easy, and one that I kind of want to talk about because. <laughs> It's the way I got it and it was kind of a pain to get, but if you're looking for a challenge, it's the way to do it. So this one right here is Savage. Now Savage is pretty much like this one, which if you watch my Soul Rock video, which this is a spirit bee, so only BM hunters can get this. Savage is a tracking team. So you have to come out to the Jade Forest and find him. I'll put up a picture right now. It came from Wowhead, but he's stealth and just walks around this path and back and you'll have to find his paw prints and it's a lot more tougher than uh zoraka and i think the, uh, his uh respawn is a whole different one too so this one could take you a good while to get now the fastest easiest way is to come out here to the timeless isles now there are plenty out here that you can get and I'm gonna go ahead and fly out there and show them to you. And here we are on the Timeless Isles and I am at 49.58 at this little lake, uh, Mossgrass Lake. As you can see, there's a Primal Stalker there, Primal Stalker there, Primal Stalker. So there's a couple of them around here. So if you don't wanna go through that whole tracking to try and get a uh, Savage, this will be the easiest way. You can just come out here and tame them. All right, so that's how you get a White Bengal Tiger. Let's go on to the next one. Next on the list is another ferocity pet and another cat pet, but this is the Grand Lion. Now this one, I just think has a super unique model. There is some other lions in the game, but they're really outdated looking models where this one just has a complete lion look to it. Now there's a couple spots where you can get them, but by far the best is going to be an old, uh, Oldham. So in the uh, Kalimdor at the very bottom of Oldham, where I am at 7364. There's a whole mess of them just sitting here. Now there are a couple, I think one here, one here that are elites, but if you tame those, you will not be able to name change them. They do keep their name. So if you want to change the name to whatever, uh, make it Simba or whatever, Fossa, um, you're gonna have to come to this spot. There's also the Twilight Highlands. So if we come over here, there's like a spot here, here, and here, but it's the same thing. So if you don't care about the name, you can come out to either one of those. There'll be a rare out here too, but if you get those, they keep their name as well. So I just wanted to quickly mention that there is another spot, but it is a rare and it keeps its name. And just coming to Oldham will be by far the easiest way to go. So if you're looking for a line, that's the best place to be. So let's jump on to the next one. Well, the next pet up on the list will be another cat. This will be the last one. Uh, it's a ferocity pet. And uh, it is Scar. Now Scar is it's an interesting one because it's like a uh, jade style of 
black jade style with red eyes. So how do we get this one? So we're going to come out here to Mount Hygel at 2755 and we're going to go into the portal to the Fireland. So let's go into here. This will take you into a different zone if you've never been here. So now what we're doing is going over here to uh, actually 3352. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're going to jump up the rocks to 3634. So let's go ahead and just mount up and run over there. So this is an interesting one. So go around here. I guess it really doesn't matter all too much, does it? I guess not. <laughs> doesn't do any damage. So we're going to go to about right here. All right. So if you see this platform, we got to go all the way to the top. And if you didn't know, you can't fly in this little area. See, it won't fly. So you're going to have to hop your way up there. Let's go ahead and dismiss these pets. And keep an eye out for that in case they break. So we'll jump on up there. Alrighty. Whoop. There we go. Which way? This way. Okay. That right there should jump us up. And now we're gonna run over to here. So right on over. And he is not up. So if you do like that pet, he will be on that platform right there. And you don't have to, if I'm not mistaken, you don't have to jump on there. You can tame him from here, but if you do, you just jump right there. But he'll be on that platform just sitting there it's a rare so somebody must have already uh, attained them also I also want to quickly mention if you wanted to do uh, kind of a black and green or if you like the green style a far easier one to get but it'll be green is in Pandaland so if we hop on over to Pandaland and it is in the Jade Forest at uh i had it written down 39.47 so let's say 39.47 i guess right there yeah right chill you can get a green version of it so you can either mix and match have a black and a green or you can get the black one right here or just come out here and get the green versions so that's how you get those jade versions of the cats with a uh, very unique models so now let's move on to a different style of pet. For the next pet up on the list, it will be a frog pet. As you can see him right here, he is a tenacity pet. And the reason this guy is different is he's hidden outside in Ardenweald. So we are in Ardenweald from the Shadowlands down here. So if you like this style of frog, there's plenty of blues and greens out here. I think some oranges, but the red version with the bright red eyes like this is hidden. So, how do we get this guy? Well, he spawns in all kinds of spots around the outside of Ardenwheel, and I think a couple spots inside. I'll put up a map from Wowhead real quick, and those are some of the spots. Some of the people in the comments are saying that there's more than that, but uh, that's what they got on there. But the key to finding this guy is actually your hunter tracking. So, before we go out and get this guy, you need to have track hidden on. So once you have track hidden on, you're going to fly around, not too close to the ground, but kind of close around the outside and all around here until you can see, it's either gonna say toad or shadow croaker. I'm not, I can't really remember. I'm about to go out and uh, try and find another one. But once you see him on your mini map, you're going to not get too close because if you get too close, you'll scare him and he'll take off to another location. So once you know the vicinity that he's in, you're gonna get close enough and then just, you know, throw your trap. And that'll uh, trap him and then you can freeze him. So there's one quick add-on I wanted to talk about. Uh, 
if you watch my add-on video, there was one add-on I talked about right here, Farm HUD. This one could be perfect for this one because it what uh, Farm HUD does is take your mini map and puts it right in front of your screen. So now you can just fly around like this and look for it with the track hidden. There's a toy, oh, I already got it. But this would make it so much more easier. So that's how you get that one. I'm gonna go fly around and see if I can find them real quick so I can show you how to get them. All right, y'all, this took a long time, <laughs> but I have finally found them. So you can see I'm using um, Farm HUD and there it is, the little dot right there. And you see how I mouse over on the Shadow Stalker. Now let's go ahead and close that. And he's sitting right there. So if you see me on the map, I found him again at 6838. So what makes this so difficult is he's not a rare, but the problem is he can spawn in multiple places all over the place. So if you really do want this pet, just keep trying. Um, I made the mistake of staying by the water and where a bunch of other frogs were don't like just like how he is right now know that he can spawn anywhere it's not just by water and all that kind of stuff so we are going to hop off the mount we are going to throw a flare because if you get too close you'll scare him so we'll throw the flare now we're going to throw a frost trap and now we will tame oh no Mistakes were made. What did I trap? I trapped a leaper. Oh my gosh. Well, I made mistakes so you don't have to. Know where the trap lands. Let's go find another one. All right, so I had the mic muted. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this on top of the one I just tamed. So I found him again. As you can see, I was at 52.65. I still can't believe that daggone happened. Uh, but there you go. So I finally got him again. I flared him, then trapped him. Um, just make sure that the flare is going to be up long enough. Because as we've seen, if the flare goes out, he's gone and disappears to a different spot. And make sure your trap lands. I do things so you don't have to. There you go. <laughs> I still can't believe that happened. Anyways, let's move on to the next pet. Next pet up on the list is Raban, and he is a raptor that is a cunning pet. Now, fair warning to get this one, you will need the Tomb of Bone Wrapping. So just in case you've never gotten it, it actually comes from the Shadowlands in Maldraxxus. So if we go over here to the Shadowlands in Maldraxxus, it has a chance to drop any on any mob out here with higher chances for the elite mobs. Um, it also has a chance to drop from, it's not Theater Pain, Plague Fall. Any of the mobs in there in Plague Fall. So if you never, if you leveled during Shadowlands, there's a good chance you already have it. But if you haven't played Shadowlands at all, uh, you'll have to come out here to Maldraxxus and farm mobs until you get it. It's a random drop. So once you get that, we can come to King's Rest, which is right here in Zandalar at 37 39 and basically all you're gonna do is make your way all the way to the last boss so once you get to the last boss around 80 percent um the boss will summon raban and once raban comes out you'll be able to tame him now you can do this on any difficulty but i wanted to mention okay where is it shadowlands uh king's rest where are you at oh it's not shadow it was battle for azeroth Okay, and then King's Rest right here is the Zod, the first king. So, as you can see, if we go to, uh, well, basically, 80% uh, he'll summon him. But the reason I was going to say, if you do this on Mythic difficulty, there's a chance that the mount can drop. So, if you don't have it, there's kind of a matching mount, because he will jump on this mount too and ride around. But it's kind of a double shot, you know what I mean? You can get a pet. And there's a chance that I'm out. But if you already have it or don't care about it, you can just run it on normal and, or heroic and go do it. But that's how you get Raban. Uh, it's the only mummified raptor. So let's move on to the next one. Next pet on the list is another dungeon boss. 
Merkita. That's just how you say it. And it comes from the dungeon uh, Temple of Sethos. And it is located in Voldoom, still in Zandalar, at 5126. Now, this is the second boss in there, so just make your way to the second boss and be able to tame him. The reason this one is different from the Cobras, uh, other than the fiery ones from Dragonflight, this one has a glow to it. So you can see the body it has the glow right there and the eyes glow. So it's the only one that's like that other than, you know, the fiery ones. But if you just want a, like a plain look with the glow, this is where you get it from. And also there's nothing special really from this dungeon. I mean, there's that that drops. Uh, it doesn't drop in normal. So it only drops in mythic. So I guess if you want this, not exactly sure what it drops. I think a pet, but uh, other than that, that's really the only thing that's gonna drop out of mythic so you can do it on mythic if you want to maybe a shot at this pet other than that you can run it just normal but that's how you get that oh and this is a cunning pet as well all right so we got two more to do and let's get those knocked out next on the list is death skitter now this one is a dragon flight tame and as you can see, I do not have it because I'll be honest with you, I found out about this one. I guess I was late to the party on it when I was making this video. So for a couple days now, I've been trying to get the daily quest that allows you to do this, but it hasn't spawned for me yet. So I'll put up a picture of what the death skitter looks like. It's basically a pinkish spectral spider. It's kind of an interesting way of getting it. So how do we get it? You're going to have to unlock the quest in the daily scales. If you don't know what the daily scales is, it's a little area right here at the little scales daycare at 1264 in Valdraken. Uh, I made a short little video on it. I'll put it up on the top now. It's about like making the gold with um, the pet charms, but it basically just talks about unlocking it. But, um, once you get that unlocked, you're going to keep questing, I think, until you get to what's the duck. Once you get past that, you're going to be looking for a daily quest called off the page. So basically off the page, you'll come over here to this guy and he'll be reading this book. And then I guess what it's supposed to be is why he's reading it. It comes off the page and you have to find it. Well, what you're looking for is an NPC to spawn. Uh, and her name is. Ostilda. And once she spawns, I guess you can do a little bit of damage to her. But what you're wanting her to do is to summon the uh, Death Skitter. So once she summons the Death Skitter, you'll be able to tame it. If she never spawns, you can take off running till it despawns or feign death and wait a couple seconds, 10 seconds or something like that till. Uh, and then try again. So you can keep repeating until you get Ostilda and then until she spawns the spider. I know it sounds complicated, but it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, it sounds like an interesting tame. I haven't gotten around to it, but I just wanted to mention that one. I've been trying to get it so I can get it on video, but it hasn't spawned for me yet. But that's how you get that one. I got one last one to do and that'll wrap this one up. So let's go ahead and jump into that one. For the final pet on this list, it'll be a wolf pet. So we started with a wolf, let's end with a wolf. So this one comes from the Siege of Ogamar. I feel like I come to this one quite a bit. So inside this raid, there'll be three wolves. Uh, basically, they're all the same and just the armor color is a little different, some browns, but I'm gonna tame all three of them. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, Siege of Ogamar is from the Vile of Eternal Blossoms and Pandaria at 71.44 and just in case if you're in the phase version from Battle for Azeroth just go up here where that little bubble is uh, Zendoma and it'll switch you back here so there's three of them in here but it's gonna take a little bit you gotta get to the Valley of Strength so I'm gonna go ahead and run it and I will jump to there when I get there all right so we've made our way to the Valley of Strength so this is it right here. It's right after the Iron Giant or Iron Juggernaut. You can go come into here. So we're looking for these wolf riders right here. The Crocran. That's what they are. The Crocran's wolves. So 
there's this one, this one, and that one, that one. I think these are all the ones that are the same color. The ones that are different are inside that building. So let's go ahead and snag this guy. Let's go to tame. And there we go. We got that one. It's got that armor. It's got the, I guess the head of the curve look around, but that's cool. Pretty cool right there, especially if you're an orc. But that's that one. And if I'm not mistaken, let's go inside the building and see if those are the other two colors. So yeah, see those are the same colors. Yeah, all the ones out here walking are seeing that we get the light brown. Let's walk in here and there should be, yeah, see those two, I guess are a little different color. Let's see, that one's a bright one. Dismiss here. And we will tame. Got that one. Now I'll dismiss this guy. And tame this one. Alright. So now let's go take a look at them and see. I always remember to loot. You can always sell this stuff, you know? I know it ain't very much, but hey, why not? So, see this one. Yeah, see, it's a little bit different. Well, see, there's that color. Oh, that's the one I was using. So here's another one. Yeah, see, that one's a different brown right there. Okay, let's get this top one. Yeah, see, they're different colors. And just remember, uh, the ones from the outside, there's plenty. But in there, if you're wanting two with the same color, you can, <clears throat> excuse me, tame the wolves and then feign death. And then that'll automatically reset them. And then you'll, you can retame them right after that one. So it shouldn't be hard to get to if there's just a specific color you're out there. All right. So that'll wrap up, uh, the 10 of the unique hunter pets that all specs can use. Let's go ahead and get into the outro. I'll say a few things. All right. So that wraps up the 10 unique hunter pets for all specs. So just remember marksman survival BM. You can use any of these pets. Doesn't matter. Uh, I still can't believe that happened with this guy. The sir, you remember, if you get anything from this video, make sure your traps land. <laughs> oh, man. So this is just a few of them, a handful. There's so many more others in the game. <clears throat> I had a list, and there was some I was after, but I they just would not spawn. So I do plan on making a couple more of these for all specs. Uh, <clears throat> but with that said, if you did enjoy the video, consider leaving a like and subscribe. And uh, I do appreciate it if you do. And until next time, peace.